What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how I will book certain wrestlers. You guys like my opinions on, you know, me reacting to like when Adam books a certain situation or when you see me check out other people book certain matches or situations like what could have been. You guys always tend to ask me, hey, we would like to get your opinion on how you will book a certain person or a certain situation or a certain show, wrestling show. So you know what? I'm going to give it a try, man. Uh, I've been thinking about this actually quite for quite some time, and I'm going to see how I would book Cody Rose winning the WWE Championship this year. Now, some people are going to say Cody shouldn't be the guy to beat Roman for the WWE Championship. I'm going to have to disagree there. The only reason why I'm disagreeing to that point is very simple. Cody Rose came back for one reason and one reason only. He made it very clear on his promo on Monday Night Raw. He wants to be the WWE Champion. He wants to be able to to win the WWE Championship. He was never able to do it while his father was alive, and that's the one thing he always wanted to do, even before he left, obviously. And he had to leave to become even bigger for this to even happen. A lot what that was said in that promo has a lot of truth, and it makes sense. He's arguably the most over guy, especially on Monday Night Raw, and probably in the company. He's legit one of the hottest things right now in the company Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes feud right now is easily one of the better feuds in on both shows so it only makes sense that to get the title the WWE title off of Roman Reigns and back on Monday Night Raw he would be the best person to do it there's other people that can do it but for specifically for this booking reason I'm going with Cody Rhodes so how will we set this up well, Money in the Bank is uh, not far off, actually. It's right around the corner, and this is where it starts. So we have Hell in a Cell. Cody is going to face Seth Rollins. I'm keeping that the same, and I have Cody Rhodes winning. The reason why I have him winning, because you want to give him all the momentum, as much momentum as possible, heading into uh, Money in the Bank. He doesn't need to be taking any losses. He doesn't. He needs to be as strong as possible to defeat the ultimate person in Roman Reigns. Because right now, Roman Reigns is technically in God mode. So, you got to build up your character. Like in any RPG, you can't have him losing. He has to be strong. And I think him beating Seth Rollins, getting rid of that feud, moving on to uh, focus on other things is, is the way to go. So, I would have... Uh, Cody Rhodes beat Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell. Now, we're starting to prepare for Money in the Bank. What they could possibly do is maybe put on some qualifying matches. Whoever wins those qualifying matches, they would end up in the Money in the Bank men's ladder match. Obviously, have Cody win a qualifying match to get into, um, into that match or whatnot. So, have him there. And ultimately, everyone else, it doesn't really matter who's in that match. Hell, I would actually even put Edge in that match. I would put Edge in that match because you can set up a feud with Cody Rose and Edge much later down the road. So I would put Edge in that match for sure. So we know Cody wins his respective match, gets put into it, and, you know, he's talking to, you know, he basically building up the promo, building up the promos like, this is this is opportunity. Uh, I don't think he's ever won a Money in the Bank ladder match. He's been involved in them, but he's never won one. So this would be the perfect opportunity to get his way to the ultimate goal, which is becoming the WWE champion. So we get to Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank happens, and I know the rumor was that I'm going to say Matt Riddle and Randy Orton were respectively going to have matches. One was going to have a match at Money in the Bank to face Roman. One was going to have a match at SummerSlam. Most likely it was going to be Randy Orton to face uh, Roman Reigns at SummerSlam for the titles. But I think I would scrap that. The reason why I would scrap that, because obviously I'm going to have 
uh, Cody Rhodes win the Money in the Bank. So, I would probably do something of the lines of having them both face Roman, Matt Riddle, and Randy Orton. I'll have them both face Roman in a triple threat match at Money in the Bank only because we're trying to set up for what what's going to happen at SummerSlam. It's kind of hard to push that, um, make that match happen. And the way Cody character is, he's more of a guy that would actually announce when he's going to cash it in. So I would have Matt Riddle, Randy Orton face off against Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And I would obviously have Roman Reigns win. I would have Cody Rhodes win the Money in the Bank. And at the end of the show, when Roman Reigns putting up both the titles because he's won, I would have Cody music hit. I would have Cody music hit and just have Cody tease it. Like, he's not about to run out there and cash it in, but he just holds up the briefcase, letting Roman know who he's coming for next. Next night on Monday Night Raw, we waste no games. Cody comes out there, lets it be known. I'm cashing in my Money in the Bank briefcase at SummerSlam this year. That's why I said you move those matches, turn into a triple threat match, because you know Roman's going to beat both of them. So, kill two birds with one stone. I know it kind of sucks, but we, we're trying to get to the WWE Championship as quick as we possibly can. Obviously, Roman's schedule is still kind of unsure at this moment, so it doesn't look like he's going to be around as much, even on a week-to-week -week basis. So, we're kind of speeding this along so he announces that right roman comes out he's talking to big game like hey that's, that's what you want to do fine that's on you just know that you asked for this or whatnot i'm gonna i'm gonna smash you just like i smashed everybody else Hold on, pause so um at that point we're building up the show we're building up for weeks they're going back and forth cody is Definitely letting it know, letting it be known that he's not afraid of Roman. He's not afraid of what he's built, and his his time has come. This is why he came back, and you can have Roman really go in and play up to the history because they have history. Roman plays up. Well, we've been down this road before with the Shield, me and your family. We've been down this road before. We caused you guys a lot of pain and a lot of trouble. He can bring up the fact it's crazy how they were your brothers too. And then that fell apart. And now you have your family doing your dirty work. It seems as if Roman can only really truly be himself when he has the help of others around him. Like really get personal there. Really start getting into the psyche of Roman can't get the job done without help he's the only reason why he's the head of the table because of the people around him it's not because of him it's because of the help he has he's always had help he's always had someone in his corner whether it's it was I'm sure they won't mention it whether it was members in the shield like mention like Dean Ambrose's name whether it's members in the shield or whether it's management behind your back and we can get personal because you know Cody is very good at talking on the microphone. Roman has found his way on the microphone as well. And we're building that tension to the point where they start potentially setting up matches with Cody going one-on-one -on -one with Jimmy. Then maybe next week, Cody going one-on-one -on -one with Jay. And Roman's getting frustrated because they can't beat him. So that's when roman does what roman does goes extra road then they start attacking him maybe one show they start brutally attacking him. i'm talking about beating the living crap out of him and you can set up maybe two weeks before the show you can set up uh a segment where cody returns or whatnot and he takes out the usos i would have him do something like that he goes around taking out one of the Usos to the point where he like, I guess you could say they can't even really help out Roman. He takes out one of the Usos. He takes out another one of the Usos. And now it's just Roman left. And he's making it very clear. I'm doing this because I have no other choice. Because at this point, 
I already know how things are going to go, which I wish fake baby faces would do. I know you're going to try to cheat. I know you're going to try to get someone involved. So I took care of them. So it's just only me and you. No one else. No one there to help you or whatnot. And I think that would be a nice change of pace because Roman matches have kind of started to end the same where someone out of the Usos get involved. So I think if he, if Cody takes them out the picture and they they build up towards that, just him taking the Usos out the picture and it's just me and you, then they go from there. And from there, you could possibly have maybe a little confrontation or a little brawl because Roman is upset. And he's been injuring his family members. So you can have something like that on the Go Home Show or SummerSlam. Match is hyped up. Cody versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. It's not for the Universal Championship. Strictly for the WWE Championship. And at that point, Honestly, they have a great match. They tell a great story. And it gets to the point where Roman's getting frustrated because he can't put them away. He can't put them away. Now, of course, the Usos may try to hobble themselves down to the ring because, once again, they're hurt per storyline. And what you could do possibly there, which I think would probably be a nice little callback, is maybe have Randy Orton and uh, Matt Riddle come out there and attack them, you know what I'm saying? Because they have beef with them still. It's not over yet, obviously. They have beef with them, so they attack them, which means Roman is still by himself or whatnot. And from that point on, that's when you have Cody get the victory and and hit him with the crossroads and call it a day, one, two, three, and he becomes the new WWE champion. And you know what? I think a lot of people would like that. I think that would be a great big pop because Cody would be the first person to pin Roman Reigns in like almost two years and win. And I'm okay with it because this will be the catalyst of his downfall. Him losing will be the catalyst of his downfall. That's when he starts to get a little bit crazy, a little bit more maniacal. So, I would have that happen, have Cody Rhodes win the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. And from there, this is why I brought up Edge, you could potentially have him feud with Edge. I think that would be a nice feud. I wouldn't start it right away because ultimately I think Edge will be a WWE Champion at some point. And if you guys want me to book that, and I get my fantasy booking or how Edge will become the WWE Champion relatively soon, then we can definitely, uh, I can definitely do that for you guys. Just let me know. But yeah, I would definitely book it that way. I would have Cody Rose with him money in the bank, have him announce that he's going to cash in at SummerSlam and then have a program from money in the bank all the way to SummerSlam on them building up the match, have the match at SummerSlam, have Cody be triumphant. It's kind of quick. But, again, they don't really have anybody else on the Raw side that even makes sense to challenge Roman Reigns. And they don't have enough opponents for them to drag it out any longer than it already is. I think they need to get at least a WWE Championship off of Roman Reigns as soon as they possibly can. So, at least Monday Night Raw can have some type of a head champion on the men's division. But comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys like this booking idea and how would you guys change it if you could or make it even better let me know i would like to get your fantasy booking on this particular situation um and also let me know if you want me to do more booking stories like this uh, or you know booking videos like this i definitely will if you guys are interested in it but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 90k appreciate y'all king with me see y'all next one peace